All right, Sweet 16 matchup. 2-3 in the East region. We got Iowa State versus Illinois. This is going to be a great game. Two clashing styles. We got Illinois and Terrence Shannon in the high-flying offense against a team in Iowa State. That's one of the best defenses, if not the best defense, in the entire country. Let's talk about how each team got here. Illinois, of course, made it to the Big Ten final, won the Big Ten final. They're playing behind Terrence Shannon, who has been unbelievable over his last, I want to say, five, six games. I want to make sure I get this right. So in the quarterfinal against Iowa, or excuse me, at the final game of the regular season against Iowa, 25 points. Quarterfinal against Ohio State, 28 points. Semifinal against Nebraska, 40 points. Final against Wisconsin, 34 points. Then against Moorhead State, puts up 26 points in the first round. And then against Duquesne, puts up 30 points. He is coming in so unbelievably hot. He's not the only guy on this team. Of course, they've got Coleman Hawkins as well. He's probably their number two. And then they got, I don't want to pronounce his name wrong. I'm going to say Domask. Domask, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. He had a triple-double, first triple-double since John Morant in the tournament. He had that against Moorhead State. They are going to put up points. They're going to play fast. Iowa State, on the other hand. They've been kind of shaky this tournament. South Dakota State ha held on with them for a long time during this tournament in round one. They end up winning that game by 17, though. And then against Washington State, that was a close game. Majority of it until about 10 minutes left. Iowa State was able to keep it between like 8 and 12 the rest of the game. The key with Iowa State, they only gave up 65 points in round one and 56 in round two. On the other hand, Illinois scored 85 in round one and 89 in round two. They've scored more than 85 in their last four games. Which style is going to travel? Which style is going to be better? This game is taking place at TD Garden in Boston, so I don't see a necessarily a home court advantage. Iowa State in this first round, and those games in Omaha, they practically had a home court. It was practically a home game for Iowa State. So I want to see how they play without the home crowd. They're favored by 2.5 right now. Over-unders 145. I'm taking... I want to say I'm taking the over in this one because I think Illinois can really score, and I tr almost trust that more than the defense. I know that's crazy to say. Defense wins championships. But Iowa State, they're 18-0 at home this year. They practically had a home crowd in the first two games. Is them not being able to play at home going to hurt them or at practically a home game? I don't know. I feel like it can only play into Illinois' favor. This game is, of course, on Thursday. Or I want to make sure. Yeah, this game's on Thursday. <sighs> Iowa State, the defense. You got Terrence Shannon in Illinois with the offense. This is a tough one to pick, I'm not going to lie. ESPN Analytics has it at 58% toward Iowa State, 41.9 to Illinois. In my original bracket, I had Illinois against UConn in the Elite Eight. I'm sticking with that. Give me Illinois and the offense with Terrence Shannon. I take stars in March. Typically, if a team's going to go on a deep run, they rely on a star. I'm not sure a team that best player averages 13.7 points per game in Keyshawn Gilbert can get by a star like Terrence Shannon. Give me Illinois to take down Iowa State to move on to the Elite Eight. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below.